The difference between spinal anesthesia and general anesthesia is that for most children that receive spinal anesthesia, uh, sedation and going to sleep medicines are not required at all. And so general anesthesia by all accounts is exceptionally safe, even in children. However, um, spinal anesthesia represents an alternative to, to general anesthesia that allows the child not to go to sleep. So we don't need to manipulate the airway in any way or put a breathing tube in or, or even give systemic sedatives such as narcotics like morphine um, because the, the, the pain relief from a spinal anesthetic is so profound and so effective that we can avoid all those medicines altogether. Big blue break. The blue shower curtain. Um, obviously, uh, he gets fussy from time to time, and pretty much every child does, primarily usually at the beginning of the surgery before they fall asleep, but um, we're able to calm them very easily by giving them a binky or, or the sort of thing that children typically um, uh, feel better with or, or are calmed with. Um, same kind of stuff that you would do at home, play a lullaby, give, give a binky, anything like that. You did so good, little guy. Did you just have surgery? <laughs> yeah? Another advantage of the spinal in that it, there is really minimal recovery room time. If you, if you do a procedure on a child and they have a general anesthetic, there's a period of time that they have to be in the recovery room while you're making sure that all the anesthetic has worn off and that the child is now safe to go to the second phase where they can be with the parents. There is no real recovery required with the spinal. You just wait for it to wear off. So these kids really can be back in their parents' arms much faster because we can bypass that whole uh, recovery room time that is required after general anesthesia.